How's it going everyone? This is MimeLang. Welcome back to my channel where no longer than two days ago I was helping my former work colleague put together and build a brand new ultra-wide gaming PC. He purchased an LG 3440x1440 ultra-wide monitor which I have found out is quite an amazing thing. He plans on pairing this monitor with his GTX 980, the only thing left from his old system. So I figured, since the newly released GTX 1060, a $250 card, is more or less on par with the GTX 980, I wanted to test and see how it would perform at this resolution, 3440x1440, which is essentially 5 megapixels, and of course I also tested 2560x1080, which is 2.75 megapixels, but still a notch higher than 2.07 megapixels that 1080p has. This is how 1080p more or less looks like and this is how ultra wide looks. My thought process is that a monitor with this kind of a resolution is around eight to one thousand dollars but do you need to invest an extra five to eight hundred dollars for a GTX 1070 or a GTX 1080 or can you get an enjoyable experience with a $250 GTX 1060. It has the VRAM for it, but does it have the power? People switching to ultra-wide monitors are mainly interested in two things. One is productivity and the other is media consumption slash gaming. Leaving productivity aside, what are the benefits of ultra-wide for gaming? Well, one reason is real estate for competitive multiplayer games like Battlefield and Overwatch. And the second big reason is immersion in games. Therefore, I picked the following games to test in. Overwatch, GTA 5, Doom and The Witcher 3. And I think this is a good pick since we also have very demanding games like Witcher 3, games that are not excessively demanding like GTA 5 and Doom, and an extremely popular in vogue competitive FPS, Overwatch. At which we're taking a look at first. So I started Overwatch in 3440x1440 and I was instantly blown away. Coming from 1080p like I am, this is quite a sight. There's just extra real estate that is so much appreciated in a game like this where you have to watch your surroundings and be careful at each step. For performance figures, as you can see, it is handling it very, very nicely, not even below 60 FPS, not even in heavy fights. I'm running epic settings here, but keep in mind that this is on the G1 Gaming GTX 1060 from Gigabyte that has higher clocks, but even if you're running a Founders Edition GTX 1060, these clocks are easily obtainable. I've also tested 2560x1080, which is still ultra-wide, epic settings as before, but performance is obviously even better. Overwatch is not very demanding, so it figures that this card can play it so comfortably. Moving on to Witcher 3. When I first fired up the game, it was like a brand new experience, I swear. The game does such a nice job of extending the view distances to the sides that immersion is so much improved that I can only figure how good this would look like on a curved 34 inch monitor with this kind of resolution. I'm using ultra settings except high for foliage distances and of course hairworks is off. As you can see it hovers around 40 to 40 something FPS. It would be nice if it was a little higher but I guess this is what you get with this kind of card. Of course I also tested 2560x1080 which I will for every game in this video and the difference in performance is very large and it lets me use ultra settings straight up across the board with hair works off of course but the frame rate is much much improved as you can see it's hovering around 60 fps of course it's dropping to low 50 sometimes especially in the city areas it still looks staggering at this settings and resolution so people wanting to first switch to a 2560x1080 monitor and save a little money by not going the 3440x1440 route will certainly find themselves with a great performing card at this resolution. I just had to check GTA 5 out on this ultra wide monitor. As you can see I'm running a mix of high, ultra, very high settings, still extremely quality stuff here, nothing is below high settings. 
differing from previous titles, GTA 5 is very well optimized, but make no mistake, crank the settings up and you will find yourself needing a beast of a system, especially at this resolution. That's why I'm using a mix of very high and ultra settings, because I wanted to get into very playable territory. Of course, uh, very playable depends on the person you're asking, but generally, I wanted to be above 40 FPS all the time and an average of 45, maybe even higher. Anyway, at these settings, I honestly cannot see a difference in quality compared to straight up ultra. I think it looks just as amazing and again the immersion factor is huge in my opinion. Moving things a notch down, as you can see, I am able to run all things maxed out very high ultra as high as they will go. Of course, I haven't touched the advanced graphics settings, uh, which I only have a few of them enabled, as that is a definite performance killer, but as you can see, performance is absolutely excellent. It hovers around 80 to 95 FPS and never drops below comfortable levels, comfortable in this area being, I think, around 60 FPS. If you're an avid GTA 5 player and you're thinking, well, maybe I should switch to a 2560x1080 monitor first, then see about higher resolutions, well, the GTX 1060 certainly has you covered, no doubt about it. Last but not least is Doom, with which I had such a hard time capturing this footage at this resolution with its OpenGL platform. I had to use hard capture with afterburner and FPS took a 15% loss, so performance uh, figures here are to be taken as reference only. But this game was my convincing factor to be honest, Doom is such a pretty game in ultra wide. I especially love this area as it looks miles, miles better than 16x9 aspect ratios. I think the game in single player is all about immersion and that's what we are looking for with an ultra wide monitor. This just hits the spot like nothing else. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I was just blown away. I, I honestly, I was just blown away. It's a very, very pretty game in ultra wide. What you see here is on ultra settings, but not all areas perform as good as this one. So I had to drop down to high in order to get a boost of five to 10 frames per second and be above 40, 45. As expected, moving things down to 2560 by 1080, Things just become awesome and in multiplayer you get a locked 60 FPS no matter what. In conclusion, I think a card like this and probably something along the lines of a Radeon RX 480 but I don't know since I still haven't been able to get my hands on a custom RX 480 as of yet due to availability will handle 3440 by 1440 just fine as long as you don't expect a locked 60 FPS and running all those settings. Therefore, you are safe to relocate your extra GPU money towards a 3440 by 1440 monitor or better yet, just drop 300 to 400 dollars on a 2560 by 1080 monitor and enjoy 60 FPS lock gameplay with ultra settings on basically every game which I've tested up until now on this card. And with this video, I just made my longing for a curved 34 inch 3440 x 1440 monitor even harder. Thank you for watching everyone, I hope the video helped you out. Please leave your likes if you liked the video or dislikes if you didn't like the video. Anyway, I wanna see your comments and questions down below and consider subscribing for more awesome content from my channel. But see you next time everybody, bye bye.